In today's video, we're going to cover how to send the data that you collect with your Formstack HIPAA solution over to a third party. To get started, we're going to jump into the settings of our form by selecting the Settings button underneath the name of the form, or by clicking on Settings while you're in the builder of the form itself. From here, we want to navigate to the left-hand side and select the Integrations option. On this page, you can see that we have several integrations that you can use to help automate the data collection process with your HIPAA-enabled account. It's important to mention that the integrations shown on this page are to be used at your own risk. Formstack will not be held responsible or liable for data integrity and security beyond our own systems. Before we jump into one of these integrations, I'd like to point out that you can see the category for each integration on the right-hand side. You have integrations for payment options like PayPal and Stripe, storage options like Dropbox if you'd like to send attachments to a third party and save some space on your Formstack account, and document options like Google Sheets. In today's example, we want to send some of the data that we collect with our form into a Google Sheet. The first thing we want to do is click on the Add button on the right-hand side of the integration that we want to configure. Once the settings of this page have been loaded, we want to move on to our second step, which is logging into our Google account and granting Formstack access to the Google Sheet that we want to integrate with. It's always best to build out this sheet before you set up this integration, with column headers for each field that you want to connect with. Once we've verified our account, we can move on to the third step, which is selecting which sheet we want to use and which fields we want to send into our Google Sheet. We can accomplish this by selecting the appropriate drop-down options for each field. We can also put an email in our error handling section in case we want to be notified of any failed attempts. Once you're satisfied with your configuration, the last step is going to be turning this integration on by selecting the On button at the top of this page. This was a short introduction to setting up an integration with your Formstack account. Although we only took you through how to set up a Google Sheets integration, you will see some similarities when setting up other integrations. If you're looking for any additional resources, I would encourage you to review our Help Center or contact our support team by clicking on the eye icon on the top right corner. Thank you for watching our video, and we look forward to working with you on your next Formstack project.